Hallo, Katrin hier with European Paper Crafts in the US. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am continuing with my spring cards. So let's get started. Today I will be sharing four new die cut sheets with you and a matching paper pack. And of course I made cards. And here is my first card from the paper pack and uh, die cut sheets, Welcome Spring. And look at these beautiful snowbells in the basket. All I did is I added some stickles, of course, you know me. And then for my stash, I uh, added a, a tag and a couple of Easter eggs. And of course, this butterfly up here. Now, I used a green card blank that I made up myself from green cardstock. I added a panel in here. And then the paper that I, I have used for this card is from the matching paper pack that I will share in just a minute. So just so that you know, all cards that I show in my video will be up for grabs. Um, I My little store where I sell my cards, the boutique, unfortunately has closed. And um, yeah, and I make more cards than I can use and, and give away. So you will see these in value packs on my website. Take a look if you're interested. Of course, they're only available once. Now let me uh, look at these beautiful die cut sheets for you. And let's go out a little bit. Okay, so they are called Welcome Spring. So beautiful artwork. This is um, a find it one and it is by Jeanine's Art, which of course we know Jeanine's Art and we love her for her art. Now on this die cut sheet, we have these beautiful snowbells and here is the card that I have created. Now they come not just die cut, but also numbered. So you see that you have the base piece and then the uh, additional three layers. And of course that what makes the card dimensional when you add some uh, foam pads in between. Now the second card for this a beautiful die cut sheet. Here it is. I have a little Easter bunny added to my beautiful yellow tulips. And um, yeah, I also had this in my stash. This actually comes, the little Easter bunny, if you're interested, it comes from a craft consortium paper pack. I will link it below. And this is a fuzzy cut from the cover. So there is a spring paper pack and um, that has these cute little bunnies and I die cut, um, I mean fuzzy cut one and then I put it on my card. And the idea here is the same thing. I have a green card blank. I have um, this tag from my stash. Welcome spring. Well, you probably recognize it. It comes right from the top of the uh, die cut sheet. So I also fuzzy cut that out and I have it now as my greeting on the card. And then for the uh, background, the background paper comes from this uh, paper pad uh, also by Craft Consortium. And this is called Bloom and Wild. I have, you have seen it now from my previous videos. If you still want to see what's in there, other than what I can show you here right now, then I will uh, link you the um, two prior videos where I have uh, also used this paper pack. I will use this paper pack throughout the spring and you can see here are these beautiful green leaves that I have used for my background paper here. And of course there is a white panel inside. And then the third card is with this beautiful vase and blossoms. And here it is. I made this card. Look how gorgeous this artwork is. It really looks like these flowers are in this jar with water. Um, I added a Just For You sticker. Now this comes from a sticker sheet. And then also I have a beautiful bow here on my tag and the background paper comes from the uh, paper pack I just mentioned. Now these, these bows, um, I have them in my shop and there are four bows to a bag. I think it's four, 
four or five. Let me see. Actually, there are six. Six of these beautiful bows are in this um, pack, and I'm going to link this below. Beautiful satin bows, and doesn't it just match this beautiful light peachy blossom? And uh, the just for you, like I said before, this is a sticker sheet, and I have it in black and silver and gold and in two different fonts so here we have a bigger font and a smaller font so i will link these below too these even have a couple of hearts here here are a couple of flowers here are a couple of flowers so you have additional uh, stickers on there here is the next die cut sheet in the same series welcome spring and again we have three images on here with the additional layers and I of course made again cards with this one so you will see it in action and here is my first card and you can see this beautiful bouquet of tulips sitting in this wooden crate um, again some stickles to it these are not glittered so uh, the glitter on here I have added this is a happy Easter card and I just uh, used background paper from the beautiful paper pack, the Wild Bloom uh, that I just mentioned. I also cut a tag myself with my punch. Happy Easter is a sticker and then this cute little felt sticker bunny I have added from my stash. You get these at Michael's around Easter time. They uh, normally have these cute little uh, bunnies. Now I added um, doodads here for bling on the tail of this cute bunny. And then here the bling that I have added to this card. I have also in my uh, shop, these are rhinestones in green and uh, this arctic blue. Now, uh, I don't know if the camera picks it up. Uh, it's beautiful. They have a lot of bling to it because they are diamond cut and they're self-adhesive. In different um, in different uh, sizes which I really like because if you have different sizes then you can do what I have done here on this card you can just lay a row with three different sizes so here is my first card from this beautiful uh, sheet my second one and this might be my favorite um, I love the birdhouses and this one here has a beautiful birdhouse image with some daffodils, has some Easter eggs right here, or some, you know, bird's eggs, doesn't have to be Easter. I made that an Easter card. And actually what I have done here is, of course, I layered this beautiful uh, image, and um, I have a couple of uh, background papers. I used my uh, border punch to make a design punch here for this one border overlapping the other paper. Now the Easter here is coming, it's actually a brand strip, branding strip from a 12 by 12 paper. Not sure this was an Easter pack, um, not quite sure what company this was from, but you know what I mean. Um, when you have these 12 by 12 papers, this particular company had actually Easter on there and I used it. Now this little cute little uh, chick here is a fuzzy cut from our 3D Hardy Craft uh, embellishments and it comes from the packaging. Now I don't have that exact packaging here but I'm going to show you what I mean. So here is a pack of the Easy 3D Toppers. This I just received in my store and I will craft with it to stay tuned for a video. But you see how it has all these 10 images on the front and I cannot throw these away. So the images are in the back in little, you know, bags individually, but all of them are displayed on the front. So what I do is I Cut, uh, fuzzy cut these out and then I use them as extra embellishments and this is what I have done here on this card this is from the uh, Easter chicks I fuzzy cut it out look how cute it is coming out of the egg and I have an extra embellishment for my cards now then I have a doily here 
and I do have new doilies in my shop and they are available right now. There is a pack of, um, these are 10 doilies, there's a pack of round doilies and also of uh, square doilies. Um, I also introduced them in one of my prior videos, so I'm going to link these below if you are interested. And I think this looks really nice when you have this uh, lead behind. Plus, I th really liked um, this intricate uh, cut here for this doily. But of course, you can uh, use any other doily or if you have a um, die that cuts out doilies, that would work just as well. But I just wanted to give it a little lift from this uh, very uh, colorful spring paper. And again, there's a white panel. Now, my third card for this... Uh, Paper for, for this die cut pack is right here again we have these beautiful peachy uh, blossoms in this uh, glass container and um, yeah basically same thing I use the paper that I have used before from the uh, Wild Bloom Wild uh, paper pack here is the layered embellishment from the um, die cut sheet a little butterfly and just for you is of course a sticker and I cut this panel for the sticker. Now this uh, doily here is actually a punch I have so I have a big enough punch to lay that on top. I really like my circle punches especially those scalloped circle punches. I have them in different sizes and I use them all the time actually more than my dies because it is handy to have um, these uh, punches around. For my dies, I do need to take out my die cut machine and then put it away. So I always um, go first to my punches before I go to my dies. And um, yeah, that's what I did with this card. Now I have two more. And here they are. Now this one here is um, again a beautiful sheet. It has some blues here now with um, these beautiful hyacinths. You can actually smell them. That's how beautiful they are. And yeah, here these grape hyacinths. Just gorgeous. More tulips. This, um, this die cut sheet. And then we have these beautiful blossoms here. And these look like magnolia blossoms. How beautiful is that? Right here in a vase. And then also in on this um, as a flower arrangement here on this tiered cake stand. How beautiful is this? So these two are also available as well as the matching paper pack. And here is the Welcome Spring paper pack. You get 23 sheets and they are double sided. So we're going to go through them just quickly. So you have an idea. Now, of course, it's always nice to have a matching paper pack. Then you do not have to look for papers. Now, um, here on the back, you just have the additional items in the uh, Welcome Springs uh, series. But see how this is here. We have the same elements, just a little bit muted. How beautiful is this? And then, of course, you have the background. So I'm going to just, let's see. I'm just going to go through these quickly. Here is this beautiful house, the bird house. Ooh, look at this. How gorgeous is this? And the polka dot. Yeah, beautiful spring colors. Oh, look at this. Here's the magnolia blossom. Yeah.
yeah I still have to make cards with this I just got this in it was a little delayed like everything else these days uh, I'm glad I got it in in time for spring but I um, had the uh, die cut sheets first the paper came second so I haven't crafted with this paper yet but I will because it is absolutely gorgeous so here are my six cards that I have created for today's video. Remember, they are available in the value pack on my website. A couple of those cards are top folding cards, but all of them, if they are not white, have this panel in there. And uh, yeah, they are up for grabs. I appreciate your support. Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what cards you like or what cards you make. And uh, share it with your crafty friends and family. This would help grow my channel and offset the costs to make these videos and to stay in business. So I appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay or get well and happy crafting. I'll catch you next time with more spring cards. Bye-bye.